Holly and Hoover writes some pretty incredible books. Um, you can say it's romance, you can say it's not romance, whatever you want to call them. I call them romance books. But the books that I read, these three books that I read, they were not incredible. Hello everyone. So I read three romances that I knew I was not going to like. Well, people might have heard. I, they were just not the type of books that I would like to read, especially the Colin Hoover book. Um I tried them and did I like the books? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and say I was really right about not liking the books. Um, so let's just dive into the books and I'll explain what I didn't like, um, what I did like, and what I did read was Layla. And I think Colin Hoover has a way with making me hate her heroes, and Leeds definitely did not disappoint. hated him from the beginning um he's just a selfish selfish human being um character he's oh, so annoying and i'm like why are you doing all of the things that you are doing okay backstory so this is a mystery suspense type of thriller and i was scared going into it because i don't do scary things like i'm scared I'm literally scared. I'm like horror movies. Like, I don't like these things. So I wasn't going to like it because it was going to be a horror. But, well, not a horror, but a thriller. But I like Gone Girl. So I was like, oh, I'll just give it a try. Um, So this one is about Layla and Leeds. So Layla and Leeds are meet at a wedding. Like, she, she's at her sister's wedding. And it's kind of told from, like, the pond to where they are now and what happens um i definitely wished i saw more of their relationship because it does go downhill and it goes downhill really fast and you kind of feel so bad for layla um you never really get her point of view it's really scary and just like super weird like super super weird the things that happen they go to the house that was a cabin it's like a bnb um where they first met because Liz is just hoping that she'll feel better because something happens to her and she is just not the person that she used to be and he is just like i'm just gonna take her to where we first met where we first fell in love and you definitely don't know what's going on uh, it does revolve around a ghost so if you like those type of things you should read this book I hated Leeds. I felt so bad for Layla and thought like the issue being resolved would actually make me feel better, but it actually made me feel worse. It made me hate Leeds even more. And it's just like Leeds keeps doing things that are really intrusive and like really weird. And I'm like, you are the worst boyfriend on the whole planet. Like, you suck. You really suck. I hate leads. And, yeah, that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. So, what I did like about the book. I liked the beginning, like the first few chapters, because I just really enjoyed Layla. I felt like this book, if it had more of Layla's point of view, I would really enjoy it. But it makes sense why we didn't, because if you read the book, You'll understand what I'm saying. Um, this is not a good book for me. But I'm happy that I read it. Now I know. Um, now I know. Now I know. Um, do I regret reading it? No. Did I have a fun time reading it? No. But it's okay. It's alright. We can't all love the same books, okay? So the next book that I read is Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. And this book is about a mother and daughter and so when i heard that i was like hell no i don't want to be reading books about a mother no thanks they're boring 
I just pictured my mom and I'm like, I don't want to read a book about my mom. So why would I read a book about someone else's mom? It's really weird. But it actually turned out like I liked the mom's story more than I did the daughter. So this book is about Morgan and Clara. So something tragic happens to Morgan and she kind of has to pick up the pieces of what has transpired and it's really hard for her and to make it worse she has a shitty ass daughter who sucks and deserves let's just say i'm glad she's not from africa because we don't play that game i don't know how y'all do shit where you from but let me tell you something where i'm from we don't do shit like that she was such a disrespectful little shit and i did not like her I did not like her. I'm like, when I was a teenager, I never spoke to my parents like this. Like, what is this? Is this normal? Is this normal life? Maybe it's normal life, but if, oh, we don't do this thing. I felt like, I I felt scared for her, like a little bit. But then I remembered, like, oh, she's just a fictional character and she's white. She probably doesn't go by the same rules as we go. Because though it made me really hate this book, I felt bad for the mom. She deserves a better daughter. So. Clara's relationship is something I didn't like as well. I just didn't like her as a human being, as a character. I did not feel bad for her. I felt like she was a sport brat. And, yeah, poor Miller, he deserves better. Um, I didn't really like, I didn't really enjoy their romance because it, it felt kind of cheesy in a way. And, um,. Even the arguments just felt boring. Like, oh, I've, I've read this before. Um, so I didn't like anything about this book. Well, except for Morgan's side of the story. And that is all. I gave it three stars because, yeah, it was not my favorite. And I was right again with this one. I was hoping I was going to be wrong because the, in the middle of the book, I was like, ooh okay what is happening like i was shocked i was like oh i cannot wait to see what happens and i was disappointed with it the only thing i can say is orange is the worst color and i i'm kind of wearing it this is orange yeah because that's how much i dislike clara um i just hope wherever she is she's mad that i'm wearing orange so damn and the last book that i read well sort of I'll explain. <clears throat> I read Hard Bones. Um, so this one is about Bea and Samson. I'm like, Samson? What is this? Am I reading things from the Bible? Like, I don't think anyone should be called Samson, guys. Please don't name your kids Samson. Why? I'm sorry if you're Samson. I'm sorry. My bad. Anyway, Bea. Pretty name. This book started off good. It was at a good a pace and then it just ran down it just started crashing and i was like nope not again so this one is a summer type of romance so bea loses her mom at the beginning of the story and she's forced to move in with her dad he's remarried he's rich now and she's like why has he never been there for me? Why has he never helped me while I was struggling with my mom and I was going hungry and I couldn't afford to buy things? Um, like, where were you this whole time? So she's kind of really mad at her dad. She's really, really mad at her dad for that. So when she moves into the house, there's a girl there, the mom's daughter. I really enjoyed seeing the relationship um, develop because we're like two different types of personalities she is the more jaded type of cynical judgmental human being character why do i keep calling these people human beings and she is just a happy-go-lucky positive um girl the the stepdaughter i liked some parts of the romance and some of them didn't really work for me i thought that bears character was really she had she was a strong character um i didn't like her lying all the time it made no sense for me for her to keep lying and but she would tell other people but she would not tell like her dad who's probably the most important person to tell 
um spoilers she doesn't tell her dad that her mom dies she's just like oh i want to come live with you for the summer um because i miss you or whatever and he believes her i'm like what kind of dad like aren't you gonna speak to the mom first and call her and be like oh by the way bear's coming over but no i mm, really wanted to see more of her relationship with her dad bear that is and the things that she just kept taking from samson he was just like this really mysterious guy that never really told her anything and she was like mm, i accept it like we're the same i'm like bitch you're not the same just because someone is nice to you doesn't mean like <sighs> she gives me a headache um i wish we were told in a different way like i wish we had found out what the plot twist was through him not through like second characters like that was pretty annoying for me i'm like i waited this whole time i legit waited this whole time and me himself i'm just gonna hear it from these people that i don't care about um and honestly um when they finally did tell her what was going on i was like why don't you believe what you are being told but in my opinion i don't think she should have waited for him um in my head i was thinking this is how you end up being in love and lock up like this is exactly how you end up being on that series this is it this is bea being on love and lock up um i felt bad for her i'm glad she waited but did she have to wait for him no would i have waited for him probably not um but that's just me but she says that he's the first guy to be nice to her and i'm like just because he's the first guy to be nice to you does not mean you should be with him but that's just be me being a cynic and me being a bitch but i'm glad it all turned out very well for them and last book that i read is well i kind of read it i gave it like 30 minutes of reading and i was like hell no i'm not doing this i'm not doing this to myself i read november 9 well is it even reading no would i ever read this book no um yeah i have nothing nice to say about this book and mckay from oh hey it's mckaya um read she did a vlog reading this book and she did not like this book she did not like uh his name ben she did not like him at all and like i said colin hoover has a way of writing heroes that sometimes just are not nice that they just like i don't like you like i don't like you genuinely genuine to the core of who you are i do not like you at all um so i'm glad i didn't read that book um or i put it down or whatever because um, yeah i know it wasn't gonna end well for me like it makes no sense meeting every year on one date but if you wasn't to like it maybe i'll read one day maybe not i won't force myself um seeing as i didn't like the three books that i knew that i wasn't gonna like um i was hoping it would turn out differently but it didn't oh god this is really annoying uh, so that is all i have for today um let me know what your other favorite colin hoover books are i definitely have some colin hoover books that are my favorite like top five not top five but my favorite standalones thank you so much for watching let me know what other video you would like me to do and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later